This Week. This week, developer Monochrome, who you probably know from their work on Contagion VR Outbreak, dropped a new PSVR 1 game on the PlayStation Store. The description reads, Headcount is an action-packed bullet hell VR shooter currently in early access with a focus on old-school arcade action with an approachable gameplay style that anyone can just jump into and start playing right away in vibrant, stylized battlefields. Drunken Barfight developer VR Monkey has been better known recently as a port studio, having brought Windlands 2, Yuki, and Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife over to PSVR from PC. Their new IP Galaxy Car, however, looks to change all of that by fulfilling the request of lots of us over here on PSVR 2 who desperately want a good kart racer on the platform. And with Dash Dash World seemingly further away than ever, Galaxy Kart is currently our only option. Unfortunately, the game looks blurry, only has four tracks, and doesn't have wheel support, so I'd say hold off for now and keep your eyes peeled for a patch or two. Kurt works for Jungle, the world's largest retailer, and is forced to choose between capitalism and activism. Kurt has dedicated his life to Jungle with only his co-bot, Skew, to keep him company. But when Spear, a group of activists, asks Kurt to dismantle Jungle from the inside, Kurt is forced to discover his employer's dark underbelly. The Last Worker delivers hours of narrative with an emotional, thought-provoking, and inspiring story with rich characters performed by an all-star cast and multiple endings decided by an epic moral dilemma. Well, thank you so much. The fact is, you're f***ed. Nah, never lost a race in my life. The music's f***ing stressing me out. I'm so f***ing stressed. Relax. I know this track like the back of my hand. Brought to you by Rapid Eye Movers. Developed by Wolf and Wood. Licensed by Sega. <laughs> The revival of Dreamcast classic Cosmic Smash that I've literally never heard of before this game was announced is hitting the PlayStation VR 2 soon, now rebranded as C-Smash VRS. VRS fuses the best of racket sports, squash, tennis, racket, and paddle ball into a virtual single-player PvP or co-op sport. The demo's live now on the PlayStation Store with the full game scheduled to launch in June. The demo's been fairly divisive so far, so leave me a comment below and let me know your take on C-Smash. Welcome to Sea Smash. It completely rebuilt from the ground up for VR, a medieval returns featuring seven distinct episodes, each with completely different settings and enemies. Ludicrous magical weapons that can be overcharged with the souls of the dead, sprawling non-linear levels filled with secrets, and multitudes of options and cheat codes for a truly golden PC age experience. This new trailer looks awesome, and while no release date for PSVR 2 has been set yet, the developers have confirmed it's coming. You are a righteous gun for hire, taking care of the corrupt and wicked throughout the city. Governments have fallen into disarray, corporations and private military contractors rule the streets, so it's your job to take on a series of assignments and make them pay. Game director Sean Edwards tweeted this week that the PSVR 2 version of Dead Second is coming along well, boviated rendering at native 120 FPS, including our fixed update physics running at 120. Super smooth and clear. We're also adding adaptive trigger and haptic support in each level is getting added visual details.
our hero Dot has to once again fight against the evil Cyblin Lord, who has a very complex plan to hack into the game creator's past at Atari and make himself the protagonist. But Dot isn't alone on this crazy endeavor this time. She has the help of Bug, Pixel Rip's creator herself, as they join forces to dispel the Cyblin Lord and launch the game on time. Pixel Rip 1978 is an adventure full of friendly faces, characters, and retro games from Atari's library of classic favorites and rare treasures. Speaking of Pixel Ripped, when asked about the possibility of the original two games making their way over to PSVR 2, the developers stated that they've got a dedicated team working on a port of Pixel Ripped's 1995, so hopefully that means we'll see 1989 at some point too, and then we can have the entire trilogy in 4K. Pixel Ripped 1995 The PSVR 2 remaster of Amada's Escape Room Horror Game Last Labyrinth snuck its way onto the PlayStation Store this week as a free upgrade. It's a game I always took issue with on PSVR 1, with some frustrating mechanics and puzzles that I swear required pen and paper to solve. But stay tuned, because I really do want to give this one another chance. Some of the later rooms were really decent, and I'm curious if I'll have a little more patience this time around. <laughs> In the near future, humanity is trying to achieve immortality by transferring consciousness into machines. Transhumanism, however, is a dangerous path and poorly conducted experiments can end in tragedy. As Agent Frank, you're sent to one of the research facilities with which contact has been interrupted and the previous agents never returned. Navigate through environments, solve the puzzles, engage the enemies to find out the dark secret behind the experiments. Every week, Amazing GameCat and friend of the channel, Professor Lilith, organizes a multiplayer meetup on Discord, and you guys vote to decide which game to play. It happens every Sunday at 2pm Eastern, and this week we'll be playing one of our favorite PSVR 2 launch titles, Pavlov. PvP lobbies max out at 10 people, so I'm sure there'll be multiple groups playing simultaneously. If you can't make today's meetup, don't worry, it happens every week at the same time, so make sure you click the link in the description below, join our Discord, and join us for the next one. This week.